Hey guys, and welcome back to the final episode of Create Above and Beyond. And today, we're going through this mountain, <laughs> through the atmosphere, and we're going to visit the moon. So for us to actually go anywhere, well, we're of course going to need a rocket, aren't we? So <laughs> we're going to start with the rocket assembling machine, which takes some of the plastics we automated last episode, ME controller, some diamond gears, and an empty schematic. Very, very easy recipe here. Oh, I love these crafters. <laughs> There we go, there's the assembling machine. As part of the rocket assembly process, we'll also need the rocketry launch towers. And of course, we'll also need the rocket launch pads. All right, so we have our launch pad set up here. Now we need the rocket itself. So to get our rocket engines here, we're gonna need some more blaze burners, which is gonna require one more trip back to the nether here. And we have to activate our blaze burners here. I might have went a bit overkill with this amount. <laughs> Don't think we need that many thrusters, but we may as well get more than we need. So these activated burners we combine with the plastics to give us our rocket thrusters. We'll also need some fuel tanks. And also a rocket seat. Alright, check it out. This is going to be our vessel to take us to the moon. We are obviously going to need some way to fuel this thing. And for that we can use the fuel and station which also has to be placed on the structure. And finally, we'll need the rocket linking device. Oh, and also some, some way to power both of these machines. Yeah, we need some RF in both of these things. All right, once we hook up these ender tanks, we just have to dye these black. We got these hooked up to some magmatic dynamos, run in some flux ducts underneath the launch pad here. And this connects to both of our machines over here. I think these pipes will have to hit with the wrench to specify as input. Now we should be getting power. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so so long as the rocket structure is within the launch pad, and also smaller than the tallest block on this launch tower, we should be able to just scan this thing. It's going to tell us if we have enough thrust to leave the atmosphere. Hopefully we do. It looks like we do have the thrust and fuel capacity that we need, although of course we're missing our guidance computer. And all we're missing for that is two more blocks of this computation matrix which means we just have to wait in a few more numbers here, although something appears to have gotten stuck. I'm not sure exactly what, so <laughs> let me troubleshoot this. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. I've been doing some building and just general cleanup around the base, preparing for the end. They'll have those chests to move there right enough, but <laughs> check this out. We can now cast the last two computation matrix blocks. There's one. And actually, we, we were left with quite a lot more logic unprocessed. We've got an extra five and a half buckets here. Uh, plus all these buffers are full, so our factory can handle probably two of these guidance computers. <laughs> but anyways, with these logic blocks, all we have to do is fill in this crafter. We have some of our plastics, some more diamond gears, another ME controller. And hopefully I've got all these pointing the right way. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. And this should give us our guidance computer. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> No quest though. Oh, we didn't unlock the quest yet, that's why. <laughs> okay, well, before we get the quest then, I guess we have to make the charge pad, which I did already invest in. That is this thing over here. This allows us to put oxygen inside our spacesuit. And the quest also calls for four more tanks of oxygen, which I think we can just grab straight from the gas charge pad. Or this might be input, actually. Well, in that case, I think the easiest way is just to do a casting table with a bucket on and then flip this pump over. And that should put all the oxygen in here. We will also have to pick up a bucket of our refined fuel here, which I have gone ahead and set up into an ender tank, and that connects straight up to this rocket fueling station. And last thing we need in this quest here is the planet ID chip, which we just have to make in another one of our crafters here. There it is. That should give us two quests. Oh, and we need a flag. Uh, what color should we go for? Of course, it has to be orange, right? Let's go for the orange flag. There's our chapter 5 completed. Alright, so all that's left to do now is to attach the rocket guidance computer to our rocket. And now I think once we scan this thing again, it's going to tell us we have the guidance computer and will let us build the rocket into one multi-block. We hit build, it's going to scan, do this little fancy animation. <laughs> and it should now be one rocket and not just a collection of blocks. So now we have to fuel this thing, so we have to link the fueling station with our rocket linking device. I think it's a shift right click. Linked successful, nice. So this should be receiving fuel. Oh yeah, you can see in the bottom left there, the fuel is going up. So after a quick server backup, I don't want to crash the game here. This is notorious for crashing your game. <laughs> in fact, there's even a button here, I think, added by create. So the alternate way to do this is to enter the GUI of the rocket guidance computer. 
and we crashed. Nice. <laughs> oh no. Okay, take two. Please, no crashes. Oh, it worked. <laughs> okay, second time's a charm. We are programmed for the moon. Let's definitely not forget to put our spacesuit on. Wait a second, can't we just quick swap the armor? Oh well, we're doing it the old fashioned way. <laughs> and we can stand on the gas charge pad for oxygen. Well, I don't think there's anything we missed. Hopefully not. <laughs> I think we're ready for our space mission. Let's do this. Launch in three, two, one. We are go for launch. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do this. Goodbye overworld. <laughs> I hope we can make it back. I did bring some extra fuel. What a perfect scene. The sun is setting behind us. <laughs> And we're glitching out, of course. <laughs> this is advanced rocketry, what else do you expect? But we have made it to the moon. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we're on the moon. Well, I don't really know what else there is for us to do on here, but <laughs> we're here now. We can plant our flag, I guess. So yeah, I guess this is going to be it for Create Above and Beyond. This is going to be our final episode. I also think we may be stuck on the moon here. I, uh... <laughs> I didn't bring the fueling station with me, so I don't really—I don't actually know how we're supposed to refuel this rocket. That might have been a small mistake, but I guess we're <laughs> we're done now anyway. So yeah, I guess we live here now. We've planted our flag. So <laughs> as for what's coming next on the channel, as I mentioned last episode, it's going to be something more long-term than this for sure. It's going to be definitely a long-term project, but I'm I'm really really looking forward to it. There will be probably a couple of days before that starts though. I'm going to be investing in a brand new PC actually, so hopefully I can give you guys some better quality videos. But that's going to take some time to get set up and things. But there's not much else to say here really. I, uh, <laughs> I really really appreciate all of you guys tuning into the series. All of you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I hope you uh, consider joining on our next playthrough. I really do appreciate all of you guys watching and commenting. All of the Patreons as well, thank you so much for all of your support. So we are on half a tank of oxygen here, so I, <laughs> I think we better wrap things up here. Thank you all again for watching, that's going to do this for today, and I'll see you all very soon for the next series on this channel.